We all know that the sky is the bird domain. But this particular area of Jagannath Temple of Puri, Odisha is being restricted. Not even a single bird is encountered above the temple dome. Even an airplane could not be seen hovering above the temple. Shocking, isn't it? Well, yes, this is a fact of Jagannath Temple of Puri, Odisha. There are two mysteries present at the pinnacle of the temple in the form of Sudarshan Chakra. The first mystery revolves around the theory of how the hard metal weighing about a ton just got up there without any machinery just with a human force of that century. The second one is deal with the architectural technique related to the chakra. From every direction you look, the chakra looks back with the same appearance. It's like it was designed to look just as the same from every direction. Interesting, isn't it? Another very interesting and mysterious fact about this temple is the flag hosted atop the temple floats against the direction of the wind. What could be the reason for this? Well, no reliable explanation is available till death. Another interesting fact is when you are outside of the main door of the temple called Singha Dwaram, you can hear the sound of the ocean waves. However, once you have passed through the door, the sound of the waves mysteriously disappears. Well, we all know that our shadows disappear at around noon when the sun is directly above us. However, in case of Jagannath Temple, it doesn't create any shadow at any point of time during the day. Another very interesting fact about the temple is, atop the temple there is a Sudarshan Chakra weighing around a ton and around 20 feet tall. The interesting part is that no matter where you are in the city, the chakra will always be visible to you. Another interesting fact about the temple is, unlike the other statues that are usually being made of stone or metal, Jagannath statue is completely made from wood. It is believed to disintegrate on its own after around 12 or 19 years. It is then replaced with an exact replica. The quantity of the prasadam cooked in the temple is same all around the year. However, number of visitors vary anywhere between around 2000 to 20,000 per day. But the surprising thing is that the prasadam neither gets wasted nor is found to be insufficient on any given day. This is believed to be a blessing of Lord Jagannath. Well, that was interesting, right? So we hope that you have liked today's video and we will be coming with lots of uh, different kinds of interesting content for you. So till then, take care, stay safe and don't forget to subscribe our channel.